It's Charlie, I hope you're all well. So welcome to another e uh, movie slash TV corner series video, another episode of it. Um, I, apologies by the way that I don't seem to film my normal backdrop for this TV movie corner series anymore. But the lighting, as I've said before, is just better here right now. Um, I'll go back to my proper filming position as soon as I can, as soon as the lighting's better. Anyway, today's episode is going to be my top five Robin Williams movies. Of course, I had to do a video about Robin Williams. I know you all heard the awful, tragic news of his um, death by now. Um, and of course, you will have all heard that it was suicide, which is just horrendous. Um, and I'm sure most of you will be like me and... Um, Robin Williams will have been a huge part of your childhood. His films would have been a huge part of your childhood. I don't know about you guys, but for me, when I heard about his death, I was so upset. Like, so upset. Which is crazy, considering I've never met him. But, as I said, because of him being such a huge part of my childhood, and to me, he was always someone that seemed so full of life. And it just goes to show that mental health and depression they don't discriminate like it doesn't matter whether you have all the money in the world you have the best job you seem like someone that is so full of life it can still hit you and it's just so awfully sad and it made me really angry as well because straight away after the news came out i was hearing people saying the old like oh suicide that's so selfish and that kind of stuff and i just want to say if you're one of those people that thinks that you have no idea about mental health at all because if you did you would know that it doesn't leave room to think logically you know um mental health it, it doesn't leave room for any of that particularly depression it is just a big ball of darkness and imagine what it must be like to go out and pick up a bottle of tablets um or a rope and know what you're going to do with that like how terrifying must that be how that can be called selfish i have no idea but just just think before you say things like that because it is stupid ridiculous comments like that that are one of the reasons that people do commit suicide about 95 percent of the time because they're too embarrassed to talk about it because of reactions like that you know so just think about that. It just makes me angry. But anyway, that's my rant over. Um, let's go on to today's video because this is already three minutes long and I haven't even started yet. So, oh, I just want a little disclaimer here. I know people will say, how can you say that this is one of his best when he's done this one? How can you miss that one out? But for me, these are the movies that when I was a child growing up, these were the movies that had an effect on me in some way. And also I wasn't around when some of his movies were on so i don't know them all but these for me are my this is just my opinion so no hate please so in at number five is jumanji this movie is about a board game basically um, and this board game What's the best way to explain this? Basically, when you roll the dice, um, things come out of this board game. Horrible creatures, scary things, um, just a whole bunch of things come out of this board game. And the only way to send them back inside the board game is to finish it. And it starts off with a guy called Alan Parrish, a young boy. He's the first one to find this board game. Um, and he's played by Robin Williams as he gets older, obviously. But um, what happens to him as a young boy is he is sucked into this board game till somebody rolls a dice and rolls a five or an eight. Um, and that's what happens years later. And it's about him trying to, like regain his life and finish this board game all those years later this is just such a fantastic action-packed thrilling 
um, movie. It's a it's a kids movie, but um, it's just fantastic. It's really exciting. It's a really like edge of your seat. Um, just a great, great film. I probably haven't described it in the best way, but it's kind of a difficult one to explain, I think, without, like, saying too much. But definitely really, really enjoyed this one. And just one of the classics, I think, of his. So, in at number four is, of course, the wonderful Mrs Doubtfire. In this movie, Robin Williams plays a guy who is getting divorced from his wife. They have um, three children, one boy and two girls. And he is basically not getting to see them as often as he would like. So um, he finds out that his wife is putting an ad in the paper for a nanny or a babysitter or whatever. And so he decides that he's going to dress up as an old woman and try and get this job. And he does get the job. Um... And, yeah, it's just about him being the nanny to these children dressed up as this old woman. And it's funny, and it's sweet, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful film. And, again, Robin Williams in this is just in incredible. And I'm not going to say too much more about this film, because I know that most of you will have heard of it. But if you haven't, where have you been? Go and watch it. It's amazing. In at number three, I picked Bicentennial Man. In this uh, movie, he plays a robot, or android robot, whatever you want to call it, um, who this family basically buy to do chores around their house. But he is very special, and he is trying to learn, like, human emotions and stuff like that, and he's becoming almost more human. He wants to become human. This film is so beautiful. The ending makes me cry every time it's just such a wonderful unique film and this one really goes to show like the extent of his acting ability um just oh just wonderful just absolutely just adored this film um so yeah in at number two is a movie called one hour photo This is a horror, thrillery type movie. Um, and this, for me, when I saw this film, I was like, wow, this guy's a genius. Because this was so, for me, kind of different to his other roles. Um, basically, he plays a guy called Sai. Well, they call him Sai the Photo Guy. And he basically works in the mall, in a place that develops people's photos. Um, and he becomes obsessed with a woman and her young son, who who have been coming in for years to develop their photos, and he becomes quite obsessed with them, and he, like, prints off extra sets of their photos so that he can put them up on his wall and pretend they're his family. Um, and then he finds out something about her husband which drives him completely crazy, and he sets out to have revenge on her husband. Guys, I am not even kidding. In this film, he is ridiculously creepy, you you kind of forget about him in all of his other roles in this because it just throws you off like when you're watching him in this it it completely just throws you off of thinking about his other roles he is so creepy this film is one of those films again where you're just sitting on the edge of your seat and you cannot look away it it's very very intense super intense from right from the beginning to the end it it's intense. It doesn't really let up much at all. Um, the ending is like you can feel your heart going as you're watching it. It's just amazing. Like if you don't like horror or you get creeped out pretty easily, then I probably wouldn't recommend this one for you. But if you're a fan of horror, then this is definitely the film of his that you should watch first. So in at number one, my favourite Robin Williams movie of all time is a film called Jack. In this movie, Robin Williams plays a young boy, like a middle grade boy. I think in this film he's 
going into fifth grade, I think. Um, but basically, he has a condition that means that his body um, ages at a more rapid rate than a normal person. So even though he is just a young boy, his body looks a hell of a lot older. He looks like a, a grown man. And in this film, he is starting at a proper school for the first time. And um, it's about his experiences there and the horrible times he goes through, the happy times he goes through. This film is so sweet. And again, it shows just how amazing of an actor that Robin Williams is. I cry every time I watch this movie. And I never, I'm not one of these people that cries a lot at TV and movies. But this film makes me cry every single time with without... It doesn't. I can have had like the happiest day ever, and I'll watch this film, and I will still cry because it's just so beautiful, and it's one of those movies that makes you think about life, and how you treat other people, and the effects that you can have on how you treat other people, particularly other people that are different to yourself. Um, and again, Robin Williams in this is just, just phenomenal and the guy that plays the little boy that plays his best friend in this i can never remember his name but he's super cool as well um and yeah just a wonderful film i mean i could gush about all of his films like all day but i'm not gonna because i feel like you should just go out and just pick them up and watch them and you'll see for yourself how amazing he is if you've never seen a robin williams be film before which i'm sure most of you will have done um, then you need to. I'm going to end this video with my favourite um, piece of speech from the movie Jack because I just think it's a wonderful piece and I think you'll agree that these words in light of recent events hold even more of a significance. Um, so um, if you haven't seen the film Jack then maybe you wanna, might want to turn this film off now because um, I'm going to tell you which part of the film that this was from because it would make more sense then. So turn up this video off now if you haven't seen it. This um, piece of speech is from right at the end of the film where he has graduated and he is doing a speech um, to all of his classmates basically and his, his family and stuff that have just graduated as well. It's at the graduation. So this is it. Hey, look at me. Please, don't worry so much. Because in the end, none of us have very long on this earth. Life is fleeting. And if you're ever distressed, cast your eyes to the summer sky when the stars are strung across the velvety night and when a shooting star streaks through the blackness turning night into day. Make a wish, think of me, and make your life spectacular. I know I did. I made it, Mum. I'm a grown-up.